Shot, bitch. Back on the reactions, man. Hey. The end of the football season is almost among us, man. But today, we got something new. Something I usually don't do. But this time, it is time for give Brock Purdy his credit, bro. We're talking about a guy that's in his second year. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't even played. Uh, NFL season is now 17 games. He hasn't even played a full 34 games to complete a two-game a two-year type season for a, a typical quarterback usually does. He's what, around, he played like six or seven games last year. This is the first year he played all 17, and he's performed very well. Top, Probably top two finish in the MVP candidate. You know what I'm saying? I think Lamar's probably going to get it, but give credit Brock Purdy, man. Hey, I know a lot of y'all be thinking I'm a hater, but I really not. I really don't give a shit about what the 49ers do. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about the Eagles and the NFC East. Be for real, for real. But, uh... Our early predictions for the Super Bowl, as of right now, I wouldn't, like I said in my previous video, I wouldn't bet a penny on this game. You know what I'm saying? 49ers seem like they got that magic type shit going right now. And then on the other side, you have Patrick Mahomes. So where do you really go? You know what I'm saying? If I, right, as of right now, on uh, today's Tuesday, uh, on a Tuesday right now, I would go with Patrick Mahomes. But when Sunday get here, and, and all everything is on the line, I'm going to start leaning towards 49ers and Purdy, but... As, that's three, four, five days from now. We're not going to worry about that. But right now, we want to see this Mr. Ir this video is called From Irrelevant to Super Bowl, the Brock Parody Story. This video is kind of, I think it's kind of old. This is shit got dropped, I think, it was like nine months ago. So, it was like last year when they was making their run and shit before we ended that shit there. But, hey, they was injured. They went at 100%. Hey, they came back and did it again next year. So, shout out to them. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and check this out, see what it's about. If y'all do know, I'm in a different room now. So, might be a little echo and shit. Till I figure all this stuff out. Because uh, my boys are saying it's really projected in this room right here. But, we're going to check it out, man. From relevant to Super Bowl story. The Brock Purdy story, man. I wanted to check this out last year. But, hey, what better time than before the Super Bowl? It's not a good draft for quarterbacks, it sounds like. It's a whole class, man. Let me show you volume right because this is not the typical highlights because this is kind of throwing me off. I ain't did one of these type videos. It's like my random reaction Wednesday type shit. So this might be a little different. Y'all got to forgive me. This audio is off. That sounds like that's too loud. But the NFL clearly thought very little of this draft class. All right, let's go. Every so often there's that surefire guy who like you think can't miss. There's I don't think there's any can't miss guys. Let me know if y'all want to see. I'm, I'm gonna do it because Super Bowl ain't till Sunday. I know ain't nobody gonna be really studying the video after that. Let me know if y'all want to see. Y'all know I'm an Eagles fan and shit. Let me know if y'all want to see that Jalen versus Purdy uh, back and forth back when they had in college. I can drop that too. Y'all let me know something. Because I ain't seen that yet either. I don't watch a lot of college ball. Besides all of them in Alabama. Showing him growing up. Brock Purdy grew up in Queen Creek, a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona. Purdy's going to keep it working that right side once again. Dives for the goal line. Touchdown. It looked like, look like Wednesday against the Niners. Oh, I said Wednesday. Last week against the. I said against the Niners. What am I on? That like last week against the uh, Lions when he damn near ran Devo over. Get out of the pocket still. Purdy looking for somebody. Has his receiver. Touchdown, Perry. He spent his high school days at Perry High School, where he put up a 27 and 13 record. Mm. His senior season, he was named Arizona's Gatorade Player of the Year. Mm. He was a three-star prospect and committed to Iowa State University. Three stars now. Don't let that, don't let that slip by. Three star prospect right there. I gotta see what Brady prospect was. I don't even know that shit. Imagine Purdy going to be one of the greats, but like, let's just say he go to like, let's just say five Pro Bowls. Let's just say to keep it small, five Pro Bowls. But we talking about the guy that was the last pick of the draft. Damn near undrafted. I think what who last person would do that like Tony Romo or some shit. I don't really know. I don't want y'all to come in come and say, oh, it was this person. I know Tony Romo was undrafted. He had a hell of a career, too. I know y'all talking about, oh, he Romo shit and all that bullshit, but he was undrafted at the end of the day. But last pick of the draft, bro, him, for him to even make 
one Pro Bowl is one thing. To then make like five or more, that'd be crazy, though. I can't lie. Oddly enough, Purdy started as a third string quarterback in his first season <laughs> at Iowa third State. Third string is crazy. Hey, man, I'm never getting no credit. So. Looking into the end zone, flushed out of the pocket on the move. Touchdown! Looking into the corner, Hutchinson nice. got it. Touchdown! In four seasons, Purdy completed 66% of his passes for over 12,000 yards. He threw 81 touchdowns and 33 interceptions. His next step was to prepare for the NFL draft. Okay. There's a good chance with how few actual guys are so out there. So all these guys stink coming out this year in the NFL? Well, who knows if someone gets drafted in the second and third round that they thought was just like on paper, just some guy, and he turns out to be unbelievable. So that could always happen, obviously. But I think in a lot of those years, the reason why they're in the third, fourth round or whatever is because there's other quarterbacks that are being... I think this particular time, a lot of scouts are like, yeah, there, there is really nobody up at the top. It kind of... The draft be kind of get exposed. When you see all these, like, these... I know, I know Richard Sherman, he spoke on this. How, I know that y'all X 49 so I know y'all like that. But I know I sp Richard Sherman spoke on how the NFL draft is kind of a joke and shit. It's, it's bad when you get it. Okay, I, I, obviously you don't know what a person's going to be. You know, when they, you don't know the work ethic they're going to put in. You don't know the, you can't measure what's in their chest type shit. But it's bad when, like, you see a, a quarterback like Brady, like Rock Purdy, they come in and put up, we don't know what Purdy going to be as on the second year, but it's bad, like, quarterback like her, uh, Brady come in sixth round, third string type shit, and come in here and light the NFL. It kind of makes a mockery of what the draft really is, like, because you not really, I feel like some of these, for him to be a third string at, in college, like, what he must be a bad practice player or something, because that, that's kind of weird. These so-called talent evaluators, there's a college football coach or NFL scout or whatever. They really, what are they really looking at? They feel like they ain't really got no opinion that's different from me and y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of, I don't know. It's, 2022 quarterback know. class was a bit different compared to others. No one really stood out. Uh, he runs <laughs> he trash. Four, six, seven. It's a phenomenal. I'm sorry, Pittsburgh fans. For him. He's got a real, we don't know about him yet. The ball when it comes out of his hands. Top prospects for Malik Willis from Liberty. Can you pick it trash pick it though? From Pittsburgh. It. No. And the pressure forces him to roll out. Now he wants to throw to the end zone. Touchdown. But even then, not many teams were sold. That was evident in the 2022 NFL Draft. Kenny, what's up? We're about to make you a Pittsburgh Steelers, brother. Congratulations to you and your family. Who decision was that? Pickett was the first quarterback taken, selected at number 20 by the Steelers. This was the latest the first quarterback was taken off the board since 1997. <laughs> Damn! For real? What he's like, what he's number, what he said, 20? Damn! Pickett was the first quarterback taken. Like that yeah, you tell ain't no franchise guys was in this draft. This was the latest the first quarterback was taken off the board. At least in the first six rounds. That's crazy. Worse with Malik Willis, who was projected to be taken at earliest second overall by some. He ended up falling to the third round to the Titans. <laughs> the Tennessee Titans select Malik Willis. Right. I think he better than Kenny Pickett, though. Kenny Pickett is trash, though. Picks before Willis, Desmond Ritter was drafted to the Falcons. He is ass, my nigga. I'm not trying to go in on those Falcons teams right now. But bruh, we're gonna give you gonna give these guys time. We're gonna give it, we're gonna give them some time. We're gonna give them some time. But I see I think his final ratio for the year was like 10 touchdowns, like you ready to be a Falcon? Yes, sir. He ain't changed no lives over there. That's all I'm saying. But Purdy never heard his name called until the very last pick. Final pick of the 2022 NFL Draft. So the 47th Mr. One last time. I'm sorry for keep pausing, but I, I tell you what, you put Pickett in and then Malik Willis. Uh, maybe Malik, I don't know, maybe Malik Willis, but you put Pickett in Desmond Ritter in that Kyle Shanahan uh, offense. They not doing what Purdy doing. <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot of people give discredited prayer because they call Kyle Shanahan offense. I do believe, in my opinion, it does help him a lot. You know what I'm saying? But we haven't seen Jimmy G look like that, Trey Lance look like that in the offense, so you got to give prayer the credit for that. But number two quarterback right there, they ain't doing it for me. Uh, Kenny Pickett and Desmond Ritter, they ain't doing it for me, man. Welcome back to San Francisco 49ers. Let's go, man. Brock Purdy, a quarterback from Iowa State. Purdy became a San Francisco 49er. He was given the title of Mr. Irrelevant. Quick thank you to all of you guys, the media. Uh, since I got here, you guys have been awesome. And Faithful, thank you very much for everything. It's been crazy, man. Just uh, all the comebacks at Levi's, comebacks on the road. I love you guys. So, see ya. Deuces. Get him out of there. The back room was interesting to say the least. San Francisco traded up in 2021 to draft a successor to Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance. The plan was for Garoppolo to play in 2021, then trade him and let Lance take over in 2022. No deal could be made to move Garoppolo, so they kept him as a second string quarterback behind Lance in 2022. I remember that. While all this was going on, Purdy battled and secured his spot as the third string. Folded underneath as Monet and Barton both made the hit. In week two of the 2022 season, the hopeful future of the franchise, Trey Lance, suffered a season ending broken ankle. Tough. San Francisco was forced to turn to Garoppolo. Here's a play action by Garoppolo. Looks left at a throw. Wide open, Ross Dwelly. Ross Dwelly will die for the end zone. Welcome back, Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo filled in nicely, leading the Niners to a 7-4 record until Week 13 against the Dolphins. Garoppolo in trouble, and he is sacked. That thing doomed from the start. Well, I got worse news. Jimmy Garoppolo's on the cart headed for the locker room right in front of you there. Wow. Garoppolo essentially suffered a season-ending injury. I don't even remember what injury he had. I feel like it was something with his ankle or something, though. More option. Head coach Kyle Shanahan turned to the man everyone... Ain't no turn to his all head left. <laughs> I ain't had nothing on that bench. Play clock again. Down to two. They get it off. Purdy looks to throw. Huge tech. Touchdown, San Francisco. Purdy underneath for the touchdown. Extremely relevant now. Purdy back to throw. Pressure coming. Steps away. Looking to run. And he walks it in for the touchdown. He just had that thing about him when he walked on the Purdy. Purdy. Yeah. 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 Purdy makes a swim move and finds the Oh. 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 I see. I must have missed that game. Oh, I did react to that game. That's a Tampa game. Yeah, I reacted to that game. This I remember that. Blew me away in this game. <laughs> this kid played like a poised veteran. Yeah. What's coming? Purdy. Lofting going deep. Has McCaffrey. He's got it. They thought. They told Tim Bay up that game. I remember that. Over the middle. Touchdown, San Francisco. Hey, Bay, Bay, not a game. Still a block. Going deep. Purdy's got him. A 34 yard laser. Purdy exceeded everyone's expectations. Facts. He threw 13 touchdowns to only four interceptions. He went undefeated in the regular season, leading the 49ers to a 13-4 record and the NFC West title. Purdy scans, dances, and finds McCaffrey who broke loose. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brock Purdy became the fifth rookie quarterback to lead his team to a conference championship. Give me the other four. Now you gonna give me the other four? Okay. Purdy has time. He sings one. Ayuk catches at the ten. Here's Purdy. 
Pressure from Parsons again. Gets rid of it. Jennings in stride, and he's out of bounds. Oh, this was the uh, divisional game last year. I was about to say, when did they play the Cowboys? I had to think about it. championship with just one game left before the Super Bowl everything you can imagine that could go wrong happened to the 49ers on a fake pressure coming Purdy deck. this ball is clearly hit that is an open hand that is a fumble Kevin Purdy got hit on the Hassan Reddick fumble Over here that would be there it's so weak and what is it wait what happened to Purdy why Purdy out Bro, you never see, dog. This is probably like my first time. I don't think I ever seen like they usually, cause I don't know how true. I don't know if they be bullshitting or whatever. Cause I know, man, come on. But like, you never see usually when uh, that kind of the offense they got to notice. But you usually hear defenses they be talking about uh defense of a of, of a team. If your team quarterback went down, you usually hear defense. Oh, I didn't even know the quarterback went down. Type shit. And all of a sudden, then you hear Fred one over here. Where's Purdy at? You, if you look at like a lot of like team interviews after, like say a backup quarterback went in, they was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, he did a good job." I didn't even know he went in. Look at just look at every team history, bro. Every, all thirty-two of them motherfuckers. They all be like, "Oh, I didn't even know he went uh, went down." Until you know what I'm saying? I looked up and like, "Oh yeah, there he's in there." You know what I'm saying? Even I even heard offenses do that. Like, "Oh, I didn't know he was in there until." Like, how do you not know when your quarterback is out the game? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm saying, but I hear this from a lot of teams. They, like, usually when the backup quarterback go in, they'll be like, "Oh, I didn't even know he went to the game to this point in the game." I Man, I don't know if I'm usually fans gonna know immediately, but during the game, I feel like, how do you not know that? But I don't know, bro. But if you're a real football fan, you know I'm not. I'm not just talking out my ass right now. If you look at all your team interviews when the backup goes in, usually. The uh, players on the on the team that that I'm trying to say on a team that loses their quarterback, the the defense or offense, well, they don't notice that uh, the the uh, the backup quarterback went in. And he's case he's a third backup, but they notice that shit right away. By the way, I don't think Kyle Shanahan get enough blame for blocking Hassan Reddit with y'all second string tight end. I feel like y'all be like, well, y'all injure our quarterback. Yeah, I think y'all need to start placing all of that blame that you have on Kyle Shanahan. Because Eagles ain't got to do We're going to take our W, how we got him to the end of the Super Bowl, what it is, what it is. But I think y'all need to start blaming Kyle Shanahan. Instead of, like, we, like the Eagles, like Hassan Reddit did something wrong. He rushing the pass and doing his job. Hey, it is what it is. Football. But I think that's over and done with now. Y'all got y'all a little revenge and shit. Bigger things on the map right now. Are you ambidextrous? Coleman in the game. We got a couple flips back to McCaffrey. Why not? Pump fakes. Now he lets one fly, and there's no one over there. We lost our court. Both quarterbacks. That's tough. That's tough. It's tough. Real tough. That's tough. After losing four quarterbacks. The 2022 season, the 49ers fell short of Super Bowl 57. <laughs> That's tough, though. I've always believed in myself. I didn't know it would at what point it would come, but I envisioned, you know, this kind of stuff happening in terms of going and leading an NFL team down the road. <laughs> Leads to a touchdown. 
did so many great things this year and we understand what it looks like and what it takes to, to go and, and to get on the streak and get hot and to win big games. He's awesome and confident in the huddle. The best part is he shows up every single day. He's humble and all he wants to do is get, get better. I knew he was selfless. I knew he had high character and you know he wants to be great and it shows every day in practice. I love the game. I love competing. I love making a big play and having the crowd go crazy and you want to win. You want to have all those other guys on the, on the field celebrate with you for doing something good, you know? Tell me this guy doesn't look like he's in the seventh year of the league. <laughs> 30, end zone throw. Oh, a fingertip catch. Great protection and wide open is Tittle, roaming free. I'm a competitor, I love to compete, I want to win at all costs, and, but at the end of the day, I know that I'm not defined by, you know, the wins or losses um, as a person. Hmm. That's a good video, man, good video. I wish I could have dove a little bit more to the college. Background, background. I wish I could have dove a little more into like the college type stuff. I want to see a little more on that, but maybe they got some more videos on that. But I'm not gonna do a whole party channel around this bitch though. But we're gonna see. Uh, they got some more. You know what I'm saying, got some more heat on the tube somewhere. Maybe I can find a better video. Than it. it was this was good video, but I was kind of want to see him like the more the high school type highlight, more the college type highlights type shit. But this was a good video too. So y'all, let me know what you think. On this Brock Purdy store, man, it's your boy Shot, bitch. Shout out to the 49er fans. Good luck Sunday coming up, man. Tough task against the Chiefs. As you know, I already know we took the L, but uh, y'all have way better defense than we had last year. So I expect y'all to, um, they ain't been playing that hot these last days against the Packers and the Lions, but hey, it's a big stage. Last game to see, I expect y'all defense to step up. Got Pro Bowls are running. I think for the most part, running around Nick Bosa, uh, Green, well, I don't think Greenlaw made it, but. Uh, Fred Warner, I think that corner, I think it's Davis Ward, Mesa. And then, uh, I know they said that he got injured. He probably would have been one. I think he tore the ACL or something. So, y'all got some Pro Bowls back there. Better than how my defense have turned this year. It's very saddening to see. But, uh, I expect a good game. Good Super Bowl coming up this Sunday, man. So, y'all let me know what your comments on this, uh, Purdy store, man. We out here today, baby. Let's get it.